So, um, when we started, or when we start, when we left off last time, we were mid Act Five. <laughs> I'm like, what? What the hell are we doing? Okay, quests. Right. Okay. So we right. We freed the girl, and then we had to follow. We had to go through the portal that she summoned. Right. All right. So we got some crap in our inventory to sell. Let's deal with that first. Good day. And let's you know not look around like a boob. Good afternoon. Let's just like reorganize all our shit. That's kind of tasty. But like that's the exact same thing. Yeah. So now we're gonna toss that. Um. And she has a nice bow. I think we're going to sell that because it doesn't give us any enhancements to um it doesn't give us any enhancements to the spells that we use. Uh, sorcerer skills, so I don't care. Okay, and how full is this? All right, so we are off to go get in that portal then. And I almost hit one of the F keys to save it. I'm like, no, this isn't Fallout. Dude has a temple? Ah, the familiar scent of death. All right. Ah, oh, Another one. Alright, uh, where is it? There we go. Alright, there. There we go. Things are a bit more, uh, are a bit less chaotic. And then I can do, like, exploding shots to, like, save a bunch of headaches. I do find it kind of weird that I've basically built this character, like, that most of my necromantic skills don't really matter that much. Are you just bringing dudes back? Fine, if you're bringing guys back. Fucking A, a diamond. I like the diamond. So that might mean that we can merge some gems at our Herodric cube. I'm really hoping that they don't just like constantly come back to the dead the entire time. Though. It's gonna like bug me the wrong way. Just level up by not shooting anything. Like she's just down there in the corner. Like ah, I feel stronger. Angel skin. Eh. I am overburdened. Already we're overburdened. Oh, inventory game. How I haven't missed you in the last week. Did you just fight Ball and he dropped three blues on you? And nothing at all good. That doesn't bode well for me. I feel like I'm probably going to be, like, equally as screwed or something. I'm already playing the fucking inventory game. I am overburdened. Okay, the saber will fit, won't it? Yeah. I'm way too much of a pack rat. That's my biggest problem. Stay a while and listen. Not just in this game, like any game I play. 
I am just way too much of a pack rat. How may I be of help? I don't know why I'm picking these up. I'm mean, most of them like, yeah, like I'm making so little. Oh, that was I was making. That was worth it. Yes. Yes, I can make a perfect diamond. Sweet. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go look to see what we can make with that perfect diamond. Because I know that there is a, there's a bunch of recipes that involve the perfects. The long battle bow and war staff with no skill increases. Oh, and you've got... yeah. That sucks. I need to play Barbarian again on this. I really, I do really rem remember enjoying playing Barbarian. Um, it's been a while though. All right, let's look up. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I think it's Roger Cube. Recipes. Item up. Upgrades? No, not item upgrades. Where is it? I will say this. This is odd. Like that. I just. I've ended up. Ah, there we go. Magical item created. Creation. I do find it odd how much. Like I've just. The... Seriously, do the perfect diamonds not have a connected? Seriously, there's no recipe for perfect diamonds. God, there's ruby, amethyst, sapphire, emerald, but none for. Okay. What can I do with... No, of course. Of course it doesn't. Whatever, whatever. I'm done. I'm, I'm done looking right now. Let's just... Let's put stuff back in our... Uh, our thing and... We'll deal... We'll deal with making things later because I really don't want to deal with making things right now. I know there's got to be something I can use that perfect, um, that perfect, uh, diamond for. I just don't know what it is. I can't. Okay, so we'll hold on to a few of these. That, it's two to three fire damage plus one mana. That might actually be worth holding on to. Yeah, we'll hold on to that for a little bit. We'll see we'll see if we like it or not. Yeah, that sucks though. Although it's like 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 I said with this character, I'm barely doing I'm barely playing along with, you know, the the quote unquote what I'm supposed to be doing for, you know, having gear and whatnot. Okay, that's a skill up shrine. Which in some ways I do find really weird. Like, it wasn't really an intention of mine. It's just I gravitated towards playing the game with a crossbow. As, like, as I played it, it just kind of happened. Oh, I'm liking this again. The floors are textured. 
I hate it when you go into the caves and the floors aren't textured on the mini-map. Oops, I need to use that. I got, I felt like I was getting so lost in one of the caves. I think it was in Act 1. It's like, I just, I really do enjoy how, like, how the games can be completely played like that. Like, you know, like, yeah, there are ways to, to play maybe more advantageous or whatnot, but, like, I was just like, uh, I found a crossbow and I was just like, I'm really enjoying having a crossbow, but I like having tons of minions. So, like, you know. The game still lends itself to being played, quote unquote, non optimally. I, I, I personally, I like playing games not specifically optimally. Less, I mean, like RPG, like computer games, it's a little less I care about. I hate, like, I hate when you play like tabletop RPGs and everyone has to like, like you're playing it with people that that have to play all their characters optimally. Like, it's something you need to beat, and it's like, no, we're all here to tell a story, dudes. I don't know why I'm suddenly, like, on full house using dudes or something. What's up, dude? Hate's, hate's a strong word, but... I don't mind doing it occasionally. I can't keep doing it. And I like just like goofing around with like games and stuff and like doing what they don't expect me to do. Okay, so these guys look like they just self-resurrect. So... I, I don't know what the last time I actually watched that show was. It was per it was definitely when it was still on television and like you know not watching it on Netflix or something. Did he run into battle saying it's hammer time? I mean, like, if he didn't, that's okay. I'm just only slightly disappointed. Ugh, I don't want to use corpse explosion every time to just clear these wankers out. Another diamond. That works just as well. 
I used to regularly play uh, the, the Pathfinder organized play, but I just kind of like, I got frustrated with it after a bit. Because there's, there's so much just like combat focus, so you know, it really benefits being optimized and it's, it's so on the rails. It's just. Really cool. But when I anyway, the reason why the reason why I brought that up is because I had I made like an archaeologist character for it, and he just got fed up and quit eventually. He's just like, never getting any artifacts. It's really fucking terrible. You're just like dicking me around the entire time. I'm out. And he just he quit the society, like the in-game society. I think part of it too is I do get kind of like bored of I get bored of optimal characters as well. It's way more fun to play somebody who's like just really weird and messed up. But that's kind of why I like DMing. Is because then like it's just I get to play tons of different characters and I don't have to like grow attached to any of them in particular. And I get to kill them in like, have them die, or not kill them, but have them die in spectacular fashions with like having no like reservations about it. Because I will say, the like epic, the epic death is incredibly uh, underrated. People are going to remember that way more than, like, that one time you beat up some gnolls. Oh, this is just a really, like, meandering cave structure. Like, really, really just, like, it's all over the place. Take that, because that looks like that could be valuable. Oh, one sec. Okay. I thought I was going to sneeze there. So I think demon hide gloves are worth some money. We'll take them and we'll see. Probably one of those things that I would remember if I have if I had played this game, you know, within the last ten years or something. I really, I'm really, I really do intend to not have it be shelved for as long again. Like, I'm gonna give Diablo three another chance, but I have a feeling I will probably just come back to Diablo two. This is, I feel like, in fairness, I should give Diablo 3 another chance. I've talked about this on stream a couple times, but I just... I know that they've made a significant number of changes to it since, uh, since it came out, so I feel like I would be doing it a disservice to not try it again. I have a very sinking suspicion that I will just end up back here. So. I've kind of said it already a couple times, but once we're done the story playthrough, um, I'm pretty sure that what will end up happening 
Oh, I just heard a gem. Didn't I? Didn't I hear a gem? Yeah, I heard a gem. Um, what will end up happening is there's a mixed bag. Uh, stream. Yeah, like, I beat, I beat Diablo, uh, anyway, there's a, one second. There, there's a, so there's a mixed bag stream on Mondays that I rotate different games through, like, an hour of each. And I have a feeling that this will probably go up there occasionally. Uh, once we've done the story playthrough. Because I just, I really enjoy this. But yeah, like, I, I played through Diablo 3 twice. Um, because it was really quick to play through at one time. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it again, right? And then I didn't touch it. Like, I really just was like, eh, whatever. It just... I've said before, you know, I have qualms about the way that the, the Octino system works. And that doesn't exist anymore, so... That's one reason why I feel like I should give it a second chance. Because uh, they, they did recognize that and fix it, supposedly. Um, but, but I, I, I have a feeling I'll just be back here because it wasn't just that, like a lot of the gameplay was just like, like it just didn't suck you in in the same way that this one does. Oh wow, you guys are assholes. Where are all my dudes? Fuck are all my scales? Why? Why are you guys down there? Oh, the stupid <laughs> things respawning. Okay, I could use another uh, super. And I will say, like the. Um, the trailers for the expansion Reaper of Souls didn't really do me much, like, to get me going on, like, you know, where the storyline would continue to. Am I? Yeah, I'm definitely squishy. I don't have that great of gear, and... I could, like, I could have some spells, uh, to like, if I was specking the character slightly differently, I could probably have some better armor and stuff. Um, and I could have some better boosts to my armor. Um, like, there's a spell that gives me... I think it's called Motor. But most of my skill points have been going into uh, uh, summoning abilities. So... I don't, I don't, I'm always, um, wary of, like, yes, you know, here's, here's a spell that will, you know, enhance your armor, and that'll be great. Oh, but you don't have mana to cast it? Oh, well, I guess you're out of luck, right? Like, I know I'm not meant to, sp meant to have a ton of armor, so I'm just going to be smart and stay, you know, I'm going to stay all the way back in combat. Not built to like be running like into the fray and like killing everything. Let's see, like my defense is 241. So yeah, like I've got a high chance of getting hit. Um, do I have anything I can toss? Not really. Okay, so I guess we'll go back to the and grab this I wish I... I really wish... Like, I really wish that there were, like, some minor modifications to this. Or, like, there there was officially supported, like... There was an officially supported structure to mod the game. That's um... Because there are, like, little minor things that I wish this game had. Like, I wish I knew how much uh, the items were worth before going back to town. Because it would just save me a lot of hassle. You know, like, in... in 
Great I think it makes sense in games where it's like it takes you a while to get back to town, so you have to be you know smart about what's valuable to take with and what's not. But here, like, I've got town portals and everything. Like, realistically, um, it's just going to be slowing me down the entire time. So what does it matter? Okay. Yeah, so that demon head is not worth anything. Those demon hide gloves were. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm going to start selling some of these jewels now, I think. So don't really need them. And yeah, that's a crappy amulet in comparison to what I have. If I want to do like, you know, mess around a bunch, I could probably get some slightly better gear, but I don't really. Like, you know, the whole gambling thing. Okay. I must have put something extra in there, did I? No? Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, let's just take that out then. So that way all my rubies are in one place. And I guess we'll just hold on to that sapphire. Oh, the... Just being like, yeah, there could be something really good here. Good morning. Let's see what she has. Yeah, see, nothing here like super, super interests me. I don't think scale mail. Scale mail might be better than the ring mail, but am I gonna get a better enchantment off of it? Eh, probably not. Oh. I might be able to find a better ring, maybe. Um, but it's really going to cost me, so I'm, again, not going to. I think I'm way too cautious. Like, I'm way too much of a hoarder. That's the problem. Quote, unquote. You know, whether or not you view that as a problem. Uh, okay, we're ready to go back. So let's clear out this hall. Hmm, okay, so there's nothing over here. So we just need to do the center over... What was that? That was just one of these things. Getting, like, Skyrim flashbacks in here. With just, like, everything... Look, because they, they look like Draugr, right? I don't know if you played Skyrim or not. Like, just like a bunch of undead dudes in like skull helmets. All I can think of is Draugr. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, the Draugr don't res. I just mean visually they remind me of the Draugr. God, the freaking Draugr don't res. That would just... <laughs> That annoy the liver, liver living crap out of me. If it, if it wasn't for the fact that it would just be really like mana intensive to to corpse explode all of them, I would. But I would it would just basically turn this into complete and utter tediousness. And I think that's kind of the point of it. Is it's meant to be like just a constant ir irritant. You know, it's not, they're not supposed to be difficult to, to kill in any way. I think they're just meant to annoy me. Which, you know, like, if I was building a dungeon. Yeah, big, like, scary things are, are useful. But if you can just, like, annoy the people away so they don't come into your base, it's almost as effective. Right, so anyway, I think we got this floor cleared out. So we got another hall to head to. I never even hit that skill shrine the entire time I was here. Okay, time for another excessively long haul. But, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I mean, not like close, close, but I'm really hoping we'll finish it today. If we don't finish it today, I think it will, I mean, it will definitely be finished next week. Because um, the thing is, even after we finish the act, I'm going to do the, the secret cow level, so. That might be worth some money. What the fuck is that thing? Creepy monster design. Go away, Death Brawler. I really hope that that, like, that job posting that Blizzard put up about, like, looking for someone to, to, uh, um, to work on their classic game titles, I really hope that that leads to, like, um, a, uh, oh, I thought I heard leveling. I really hope that leads to a, uh, like an extended edition release, or an enhanced edition, not an extended edition. Uh, an, ex uh, an enhanced edition release of these games. Cause this game is so good, and like, it could just use a few minor tweaks. And part of it is just even like, just making the game work properly on, you know, modern consoles. Okay, let's level up now that we're at the waypoint. Oh, okay. Um, we don't use our mana a ton. I feel like where we should be putting... See, I re it really bugged me, too, that I had to put my a lot of points into strength. Um, to counterbalance some stuff, I'm gonna put it in energy. Um, to to be able to you know, like use some of the later game gear, if I wanted to, like a lot of the a lot of the gear has strength requirements on it. Okay, so we got four of either of these. Where should I be putting this next? Yeah. 
That's got a duration on it, so that seems like a bad idea. Although it could be really useful. It creates a golem that converts damage it receives from fire into life. That could be useful. But I almost feel like the thorns damage might be better. And then this... I've got so many skeletons, I feel like I should just like max out skeleton mastery. Because that is going to have the largest impact to like my forces. Yeah, we're going skeleton mastery. I don't know if that was a good choice. But it was a choice. That it explodes. Well, that the shots explode. Just, like, because it essentially slows everything down, right? Like, monsters end up recoiling from the effects of it. Who's fighting? So few anyway. Okay, so what does that thing have? Where is it? Mana burn? Yeah, it's just undead in mana burn. Okay. Dragon Grum Dragon Grumble the Hungry. Ooh, a set ring. Interesting. And I wish I hadn't wasted that potion of identify. Because I'm super, super curious what that ring does. But I am also... Patient. <laughs> and I will wait till we go back to town. I'm guessing they must have been added into the expansion. I'm sure I could, you know, confirm or deny that. Um, but just like the fact that I've only ever seen them in, uh, only ever seen them in the expansion levels, I'm I'm fairly confident that they were added in the expansion. Uh, but they're such a nice addition. They're like I want to do a like an additional hard encounter with a rare mob. Sure. That's the urn. Completely up to you if you want to do it. There's no, like, big summoning ceremony or anything you have to deal with, or, like, waiting out some... Uh, waiting out some cutscene. No, let's just... Doesn't have to be over dramatic. Ways this is war, you know, like and life, like shitty, random crap happens all the time. Yeah. 
regular skeletons are just like... Like, I keep losing just two of them. Let's go back to the center here for a second, because this is just like a little area over here that we don't need to clear. They, they really are a nice addition. They're like, you know, they're just like, here's a magical device. It's, you know, semi-cursed because it'll summon like a really nasty thing. But uh, if you want to deal with it, you get a reward. No, it's not like it takes you into a special zone where, you know, you have to do some special encounter and deal with all of this. No, it's just... Like, just, you know, nice and simple. I think we're probably going to take a break here in a minute, though. I need to run... So I think we'll get to the end of this combat. And uh we'll take a short break, because I want to identify what that ring is too. So this just seems like a really good excuse to head back to town. I am overburdened. So yeah. Alright, we're gonna head back to town. I'm gonna run to the washroom, go to a very short break.